Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And on the bill, I know that I'm proud that it was made a state holiday in 2004 by unanimous vote in both houses. Obviously, I wasn't here. My concern is strictly on the financial impact of the state government coming out of, or not coming out of, in the worst recession and the sheer number of state holidays. And while I support the holiday and support the bill, what I would ask is for consideration to take out another state holiday. We are barely functioning as a state now on processing, whether it's unemployment or DMV or many other state services. I think adding an additional state holiday, the financial impact is way more than what the numbers are saying here, the $3 million. Those were 2009 numbers used on 2009 payroll. But also, obviously, you have the entire government not doing anything that day on a holiday, which is fine. And again, I support the holiday. What I'd ask is for consideration and the reason that I'll be abstaining on this bill. I'd be happy to vote for it if we remove one additional state holiday and put this holiday in its place. And mine is strictly coming from a financial impact on state government and getting things back to normal. And who knows where we're going to be in June. But I know we do need government services open and serving people. So I support the holiday, but I do not support having an additional paid holiday and would encourage a substitution out on the present state holiday. So thank you. Thank you, counsel. Thank you to both counsel. We'll take this case under submission.